Aaron Robinson was born in Chicago, Illinois, and grew up in Pembroke, Illinois, during the duration of his life. Robinson attended Columbia College, Chicago, earning a bachelor's degree in fine art and science and an associate degree in visual and fine art. Robinson is a professional graphic designer where he designs local and national projects. Is also the founder of Consciousness Magazine and Still Arise Organization. He is the Amazon bestselling author of Not Going on Notix, the Aaron Robinson story, and is the author of Motivation and Inspiration, Prestige Interviews Volume 1, Prestige Interviews Volume 2, The Artwork of Aaron Robinson, and How to Self Publish a Magazine, The Step by Step Guide to Starting a Magazine. And on today's episode of Auto Interview, it's my utmost pleasure and joy to have on the show today, Aaron Robinson. How are you doing, Aaron? I'm good, Peter. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, it's my so pleasure I'm... as well. Yeah, I'm so excited too to have you on the show today. Pretty much interesting. Oh, yes, I'm great. <laughs> I'm great. Everything is good. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. So, Aaron, you know, from reading the description page of your book, I can tell that you have an amazing and compelling story, you know, to tell in your memoir, which is titled Not Going Unnoticed, the Aaron Robinson story. I would like to ask you, what inspired you to write this book? Wow. One day when I was in college, that was nearly 20 years ago. I went on a trip with my friend from Chicago, Illinois to New York. And I was telling him some things about my life story. And he said, you know what? You should write a book about it. I was like, huh? <laughs> I wasn't quite ready to write a book during that time. So once I graduated, I just started, you know, dabbing into it little by little, just writing um, th things about my life and some, some, some things I recorded uh, in my journal. I put that out and just started writing and writing. And it, it came to fruition you know, almost 20 years ago. So here it is today as a, wow, Amazon bestseller. Wow. That's an amazing one. Sounds like a dream come true. Like the fact that, you know, a yeah, friend of my, a dream. friend of yours, you know, inspired you to start it. So that sounds interesting. I love the sound of it. For readers who haven't read the book yet, and of course, without giving course, much information away, could we have a sneak of what we'd expect in terms of teams Picking up, not going unnoticed. Basically, it's about coming from my family living in poverty and basically mm -hmm. getting over them obstacles and not having, at many times, running water, electricity, and just going through them obstacles and overcoming them. So that's just, a, in a nutshell, just of my life during that point from, like, childhood to I talk about a certain... Um, uh, to almost not not quite adult, but during that era, because the first chapter talks about when I started a business and some challenges I had that left me homeless. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. then I go back to the beginning of my childhood and just start to tell the the readers how I started a magazine and basically how I got into the visual and fan arts. So that's just a nutshell of it. Well, well that's quite amazing because. When I actually read the description page of the book on Amazon, it sounds very intriguing to me. And I was like, wow, this sounds like a book I would love to pick up afterwards. So thank you so much for sharing. Now, Aaron, I also see that you have another book titled Motivation and Inspiration, Guide to Overcoming Challenges and Obstacles. Would you like to tell us a bit about that too? Oh, um, yes. Over the years, I collected, basically wrote in a journal, so I was changing my life to be a better, basically, me. Mm. So in order to be a basically uh, me, I had to realize my flaws, my mistakes, uh, my, my challenges, my fears, and everything under that umbrella. So I, I started to meditate, uh, read more, found out the things I loved in life, mm. started to be a better person. I started to, uh, uh, I always was a loving person person but i started to love more and just basically created this world around me just uh having 
positive energy and connecting mm-hmm. with the right people. So it's basically a guide that tell you from uh, how to stay motivated and inspired. And I leave some of them droplings in there a little bit about my life, some of the things that I inquired along the way, such as reading motivational books, mm-hmm. um, uh, listening to uh, music with higher vibrations and things and such. So that's all in there just to continue to keep you inspired and motivated. Mm-hmm. That's great. I love the fact that you mentioned this. Sound very interesting to me. And I particularly love the title of that book, Guide to Overcoming Challenges and Obstacles, which is something that is most predominant and common among humans. You know, we humans have one challenges or the others that we're probably you know, experiencing or trying to overcome. So I can really relate to that. That's very impressive of you. And now, Aaron, let's talk about criticism. You know, as halters, we all have different ways of reacting to feedbacks and criticism of our works. I'm curious to know your opinion about criticism. How do you react to negative reviews of your books if you've ever had one in time past? Um, over the years, I haven't really got a lot, but I, I can understand the criticism, or oh, I've been through a lot of criticism. Mm. You know, starting the magazine, even starting other endeavors. So I I kind of ignore that and don't. If 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 I feel like I have, I want to say the the most high gave me a gift. So if I feel if I'm doing the right art piece, I follow that journey without mm. getting distracted. So if that piece is out there. I know my work is completed for that part of that journey to inspire and motivate people so that's that's how i look at everything the, the, the critiques and uh criticism is always going to be there um mm-hmm. and i'm still a student of life but as a professional i still listen but i just kind of weave out the uh negativity and the uh the uh not so good criticism mm-hmm. wow i love your take on criticism and how you react to it that sounds intriguing to me. Thank you for sharing. No problem. Yeah, now I'm also curious to know if you experienced any challenges in the process of writing your book. You know, you've written a memoir, you've written a book about motivation and some other writing that you've done. You know, I'd love to know if you experienced any challenges in the process of writing these books, which of course I know you have more than two, three, and four. Now, if there is any, could you share with us what challenge it is and how you ultimately overcame it? Uh, this basically over that uh, almost twenty year period. This uh, not going to notice the book is a um, is a it's a series of three. So within that, um, you know, life things happen, things out of mm. our control. So with writing, I try to stay motivated, stay in a certain type of frame of mind. But sometimes. Um, I, I can call it a writer's block when real life issues happen in your life that you got to deal with. Yeah. So just to get back into that drive, some that you know that mode, sometimes uh, it could be a little difficult. But you know, I eventually get there. But mm. far as with marketing, promotion, and all that, far as with um, any challenges, um, really haven't been a lot because I I know that this was destined. And there's still more projects to come in the future. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. I, I love your idea and I love your perception. <laughs> I love the sound. Yeah, I really do love the sound of it. it. Sounds intriguing to me. Now, Aaron, apart from not going on notice and motivation and inspiration, do you have any other works if altered or maybe currently working on? Um, basically, uh, I'm still working for any edited S2 uh, pieces, uh, wow. part two and part three of this uh, autobiography. Uh, I'm waiting for the right time to uh, put that out because I've really been enjoying this journey, mm. uh, pursuing book signings and just people being receptive to it. So, and a lot of new things are going to come up in the future uh, as far as projects and so forth. But those two projects uh, I'm still working on. Uh, I don't have a release date when that time mm-hmm. comes. I feel in my spirit. I know I'm going to release it. But some other past books uh, that I published is the artwork of Aaron Robinson. 
uh, it was just basically fan art pieces uh, that I painted or even drew back in the past. I just put it together as a collage and I have a story of like of each uh, uh, piece uh, that I drew or painted. And another, the other book is um, how to start a, uh, how to publish a magazine and also co-authored some other books also, business books. And yeah, so that's been the, the journey with the publishing the books. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like that. I like that. Sounds very animated. Lovely. Right. Love the sound of it. Now, is there anything that you'd love to share with the viewers about your books that we did not mention in this interview? I would love the viewers to know. I'm just coming from a family of seven siblings, uh, parents uh, living with a mentally ill uncle right growing up, uh, living in poverty. Uh, you can escape and break the barriers if you put your man to it. Uh, a lot of people is born. Yes, absolutely. A lot of people is born in situations uh, that we wasn't, you know, we 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 can make a choice of it. So the resources is out there. Um, if you want to be a better you, a better person, you mm -hmm. can strive and do the best you can and break those cycles and overcome those barriers and challenges just to make you a permanent peace in this society, or I should say your world, so mm. your energy and your life mm. could continue to live on. So you can overcome and be successful if you work hard and make sense of what you're doing Absolutely. and just be a better you. Absolutely. Yes. Wow, that's quite inspiring. <laughs> that's very inspiring. I think I'm inspired, really, listening to you talk about this. Yeah. Very inspiring, really. I love the sound of it. Thank you so much for sharing. Now, could you tell us what publishing is like for a published author like yourself? Also, are there any challenges you've encountered ever since it got published? Well, well, Peter, when I became a publisher, when I published a magazine, I had to learn every area from... I'm a professional graphic designer, too. Yeah. So I learned every area, how to design, format. I also went to school for that. So I was able for, since 2014, to put out magazines successfully and learn the mm. business of publishing. So when I got into publishing books, I just used that theory and brought that over and used the same concept. Um, it could be a little tab different. It's still publishing, but... The, those those been the aspects I use to uh, use my profession to do the best things that I could possibly do in my mm -hmm. will and not. So so far as the challenges, um, uh, my company put out eleven books already. Wow. So I, this was not going. I noticed that's that's the baby that's opening more doors. Wow. You know, I put my heart in everything, but this is really like the book that I felt like broke uh, that opened up a lot of more doors wow. and it's going to be more publications to come. So challenges, um, we just, we just, we, I, we just ride the journey and just uh, facing everything uh, that comes towards us. Um, we, absolutely. Been of, we got thick skin. So we just continue to work and move forth and, just following our, our vision and just that 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 goal, you know. So hmm, I like the fact that you mentioned we've got a thick skin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's poetic. <laughs> I need dramatic. Thank you so much. And I'd love you to raise the book to the camera just so we can see what it looks like. If you have a copy there, you can show it to the camera. Yeah, so beautiful cover. Not going to notice the Aaron Robinson story. Yeah, a powerful memoir in itself. Thank you so much for showing. Yeah, thank you. Now, Aaron, as a published author, what sort of advice do you have for other writers who are still having problem with putting a book together and publishing it? What would you advise people in this category? I, I say patience. Um, everything is, you're not going to do everything to be able to do everything in one day. It's a process. Absolutely. So follow 
Yeah. So follow the process. Uh, enjoy that journey of the first chapter, even before mm-hmm. that the ideals and thoughts. It may get a little frustrating at times, but that's just the beginning. So follow through and know that there is a end of the tunnel. And what I mean by that, that project will get completed and come into a reality if you continue to work on it, mm-hmm. build on it and continue to add the right ingredients to it, it will happen. happen. So so don't give up on it and continue to work hard and believe in your project and what you're doing. Wow. Thank you so much for your advice. And I'm hopeful that viewers, including myself, would love to utilize it. So, Aaron, in case we have some viewers who are watching this interview and they would love to get a copy of your books, and what platform are they available on for purchase? You can go to Amazon.com. Just type in, not going unnoticed, the Aaron Robinson story. Um, you can also go to my website, visit that, AaronRobinsonBooks.com. Or just go to Google and type it in. It's mm-hmm. in various stores. So, yeah, type it in. And you you definitely see it. And Beautiful. The support of Great. Yeah. Absolutely. And I left a link in the description part of this interview where interested viewers can get a copy of Aaron Robinson's books directly on Amazon. So thank you so much, Aaron, for accepting the invitation to be featured on P English Literature. It's awesome having you on the show. Thank you, Peter. Yeah, it's my pleasure as well.